Punjabi is the language spoken across much of northern India and Pakistan, but it's not known for its literary prowess. Now, one 82-year-old Sikh is trying to change all that. Punjabi scholar Sojit Hans has laboured for two decades to translate the entire works of Shakespeare into his mother tongue. India correspondent Stephanie March met the scholar at his home in Chandigarh. At 82, Sajit Hans has the energy, enthusiasm and work ethic of a man half his age. Well, I've seen my dad work very hard. He's a very disciplined man. For 20 years, he worked on an average eight hours a day and sometimes even more. His passion for Shakespeare began in the mid-50s while studying at a university in Punjab under the guidance of an English tutor whose fondness for the playwright rubbed off on the young scholar. In Macbeth, I did two parts. I was a wounded soldier and then I was Seaton, Macbeth's servant. And uh, in the next Shakespearean play, that is Hamlet, I was promoted and... Uh, and I was Laertes. In the mid-60s, he worked in England as a porter at Heathrow Airport before coming back to India to continue his studies of the works of the great bard. So I knew that uh, translating Shakespeare was, uh, was a commendable effort. If you do, if you translate Shakespeare, you may also learn how to write like Shakespeare to some extent. A commendable effort indeed. Thousands of pages and 20 years later, his work is complete. And he wasn't paid very much for his efforts. Oh, it was 8,000 rupees per play. How long would it take you to translate one play? Oh, it would take me six months. That's about one dollar a day. I think uh, if they had asked me to, to pay them for the effort, I, I would have done that. The translations are now finished, but now what to do with them? Probably I would like to see some local um, uh, stage artists, some local uh, people in the theatre taking the initiative so that we can actually take Shakespeare to the Punjabi audience. Watch what you have done without me. I am the king of the island. Here at Delhi University in the Indian capital, members of the Shakespeare Society are rehearsing an upcoming performance of The Tempest in English. Because of our colonial um, rule, because of our uh, imperialist past and so on, uh, we, Shakespeare is the most important literary cultural icon in India. The group's president believes Sajid Hans's translations will open the door for more diverse interpretations of the playwright's work. It allows you to see Shakespeare in his entirety. And, and if you actually sort of go deeper into it, explore and develop the text, in the sense that you uncover the text, then you can do a lot more. That can only happen with such an extensive translation. And that, that way, I think it's a commendable effort. I taught you the birds, trees, fruits, the seasons. Really you don't give a damn. Sajid Hans says there are many characters in the plays that Punjabis will be able to relate to, like Romeo and Juliet. I think they, are, they would be very much intrigued uh, that the problem of uh, love marriage versus uh, arranged marriage survives in Shakespeare. There are about 100 million Punjabi speakers across the world and while Surjit Hans doesn't expect all of them to take an interest in his work, he hopes it goes some way towards unifying this diverse community. I wish that uh, Punjabis split into three or four sections, Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs. It could help them in a small way to come together because it's neither Sikh nor Hindu nor Muslim. You might think the octogenarian has deserved a break from his work, but the thought never crossed his mind. He's already started on his next project. At the moment, I'm uh, translating Darwin's Origin of the Species because that is more important than Shakespeare. 